So I enjoyed the first Zombieland film, but honestly, not as much as everyone else. So let's see how Double Tap turned out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Zombieland Double Tap. I really do appreciate it. And if this is your first time finding me and you want more content like movie reviews, trailer reactions, entertainment news, or just anything I think is cool, please right now click on that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be on your way. Zombieland Double Tap or Zombieland 2 is a film directed by Mr. Ruben Fleischer. If you are familiar with his work, you know that he did the first Zombieland, which came out 2009. And like I said in my intro, everybody just lost their freaking mind when that film came out. Just like, this is the best zombie movie ever. Have you seen Zombieland? They did this. They did that. Yada, 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 yada. And while I shared their sentiment to a degree, it still was just not at the same level. But it was a good film, so I'm going to give Fleischer a uh, credit there. But he's back for the sequel, of course. He also directed... Uh, Venom which came out last year and it was a success uh, a surprising success but it was a success and he also directed Gangster Squad in 30 minutes or less so I pretty much like this guy's filmography for the most part I didn't really care for um, Gangster Squad um, I don't even think I saw that movie to be honest with you so I don't think I can say I care for it or not but you know he does have um, you know a lot of weight under his belt and so I respect the man but yeah this is a zombie movie comedy horror all mixed up into one and um it's a fun film but what is this thing about we have columbus tallahassee wichita and little rock move to the american heartland as they face off against evolved zombies fellow survivors and the growing pains of the snarky makeshift family now my expectations for this film was mediocre i was interested in seeing it but if i just missed it for some reason um, I wasn't going to lose any sleep over it. And I just say that because expectations does affect how you feel about a film overall. So going into this, I wanted it to be good, but I didn't care. And like I just said, guys, it was a good film. It's a fun, simple film. And if you like the first Zombieland, I really find it hard for you not to like Zombieland 2 or Zombieland Double Tap. The film takes place 10 years in the film world, just like it does in the movie world. And you can tell how much things have changed in the world that they're living in. The characters are the same, yet they do evolve a bit. They grow up. I mean, their personalities are there from the past, but, you know, they are more mature. And one of the things I like about this film that is not typical for myself is I, at some point when I'm watching the film, I like to see where the story is going, where how the plot is developing. But that wasn't the case with Zombieland 2. It was random. But at the same time, that is a good thing. Usually, I just want to know where the film is going. I couldn't tell with this, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, I don't know why it didn't bother me, but that's just a plus for the film is that I was just having a good time seeing these characters argue with each other and banter back and forth and just seeing them try to survive with the comedy and everything that's tied in with that, especially some of the cameos that popped up in this movie. You had this one young lady that was a dumb blonde, but she was freaking hilarious. And I like how her character evolved from the beginning to the end. You know, she was very pretty dim witted at the very beginning, but through the middle of the film, she kind of learned what sarcasm was as other characters are making jokes with her and she was able to fight back a little bit and I just kind of really like that within this film there's also uh, a few surprises not anything just mind-blowing but I was caught off guard a few times it's like oh okay I wasn't expecting that I wasn't expecting to see this character or this set certain character again that's very interesting but the best thing about this film to me in my opinion is a uh, Woody Harrelson uh, that plays Tallahassee this guy and his comedy is just freaking ridiculous I love the way he reacted to everything and all of his surroundings the way he talked to himself and the way he talked to other people um it, it was nice now there are some other cameos that may be obvious in the trailers but i don't remember so i'm not going to bring them up here and they fit well within the story or lack of uh pretty good too 
Um, as far as my complaints are concerned, there is um they kind of failed on some continuity in the action. Um, there is one point where they are fighting zombies. Of course, that's the you know main point of the film. And while you had two humans versus two zombies, you had two other characters just kind of around the corner that was at the very beginning of the fight. And then it's like three minutes later while everyone is rustling and tussling along. I'm like, okay, where are these other characters at? Why are they not helping? I mean, uh, did they go to the restroom? It, it, it was really jarring. And I, I really just didn't understand that. Also, there was kind of a somewhat of a mid post credit scene. Um, and I really don't understand the point of it. But this film does have a lot of laughs. Um, it has so many laughs that people were laughing in the theater that I was missing the next joke because people were laughing so hard. I wasn't laughing as hard as everybody else. But, you know, first 10 to 15 minutes, I was just kind of stoic in my seat. But after that, I just couldn't help myself. I was laughing, not just like, you know slapstick you know just yuck 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 but i was i was having a good time i wasn't bored or anything like that you know i also one of the things that i also like with this film is what they do with the graphics and the subtitles okay you know we have jesse eisenberg's character columbus you know he has all the rules and just the way when they're going over the rules going over old rules from the first film and new rules and just how they put the graphics up on the screen and how that's illustrated it does keep you in the film it does make things fun and bubbly and uh, and then when you tie that in with emma stone and woody harrelson and them complaining back and forth just about the way the world is i mean i don't know it's just a big ball of fun i i, I know i keep saying that over and over but you know that's just what it is and also i love what they did with the characters i mean while they are a family a mix max family they do mix it up and all the characters do not stay in the same proximity of each other throughout the whole movie they get i mean you know they love each other but of course they get on each other's nerves too they get upset or you know feelings and emotions grow or they dissipate character goes over here character goes over there and then the way they come back together if they do or not you know i was like okay i really wasn't expecting that you know for zombie land double tap to be just such a simple film in my opinion of just a, a group of characters acting silly and arguing and trying to survive around zombies i mean there were just a few things that this thing did to change it up with the pacing and the story and just the flow of the film um, that just isn't typical and it's something that just stood out to me I may even have liked this film better than the first one maybe because my expectations was lower but I'm not sure and then the detail that they go in with these zombies and the different type of zombies that they have and how they evolve it's just a fun film guys so I'm just gonna leave it at that but I've had to rate zombie land double tap out of a 1 out of 10 I would give it an 8 out of 10 yes an 8 out of 10 but guys, that is just my opinion. What did you think about Zombieland Double Tap? Do you want to see it? What did you think about my review? Please let me know down below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you liked the video, please give me that thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But please still subscribe to my channel and look me up on social media. Let's help myself get to 20,000 subscribers. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Zombieland Double Tap. And before you go, don't forget... That my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.